Hi guys, welcome back. This is going to be my first voiceover, so bear with me. Um, this is the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Pure uh, Primer, and now I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Foundation all over my face with my favorite wedge sponge. Um, I've never done a voiceover, so I'm really excited um, to see how this all comes together, but I'm um, just applying that all over my face to get a nice smooth canvas. And then I'm going to be going over that with my uh, MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20. And I'm just using the same wedge sponge that I did. I'm going to put it underneath my eyes and then uh, make a triangle shape kind of coming down towards my nose. Um, you see it there. And then I just blend it out with my finger. Um, you should use your ring finger, something very light. Um, I tend to use my middle finger more than I probably should. I should probably use my ring finger. But then I'm going to set my whole face, including that concealer, with the Too Faced Primed and Poreless um, Loose Powder, which apparently I had problems opening. But I'm just using an e.l.f. flat top, uh, e.l.f. kabuki uh, powder brush to just set everything and um, get a nice even um, matte look. Then I'm going to be going into my Hula Bronzer by Benefit to do a little bit of contouring. I'm going to use the brush that it comes with and um, just doing a little bit where the, the cheeks naturally cave in. Um, and then that's from the top of the ear into about the outer part of the eye and then a little bit on the temples and the forehead. Then I'm taking that same e.l.f. Um, kabuki brush to just kind of blend that all out and soften it a little bit. And once that's done, I'm going to be going into the Cargo um, Bronzer in Medium, and I'm going to be using um, an e.l.f. angled uh, brush, and I'm going to be applying that basically where I just put the Hula Contouring Powder, but um, Hula Bronzer, but it's just a little bit more of a golden tone. And then I blend it out again with the same Kabuki brush. I'm really big in blending lately, so bear with me. It takes a while. Next is the Milani Baked Blush, and it's in the shade Fantastico Mauve. I really love this blush. It's actually um, one of my favorites for fall. And um, I blow off a little bit of it because it's kind of powerful. It packs a punch for such a small blush from the drugstore. Next, I'm using my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. Um, I'm going to be using the center shade in Condescent Light for on tops of my cheekbones, and then dim light for around my face. This is the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush that I like to use for highlighting. And just doing that um, basically right above where I put the blush in an angle, and that gives a nice shade to the top of the cheekbones. Then I'm switching the brush, and I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Small Taper Brush, and I'm using um, that darker shade in that same palette. And I'm just kind of going on the high points of my face to give a little bit more of a highlight. And next, I'm going to be going into my um, MAC Pro Longwear um, Painterly Paint Pot. And I'm going to use that to prime my eyes just with my finger. And that's going to cancel out any veins or redness in my eyelids. Then I'm going into the NYX Ultra Pearl Mania um, Loose Pigment. And I got these off Holt Look in a free pack. But um, I just put a little bit on my hand. And then I'm going to um, use a um, flat brush and I'm going to put that on the lid. And that's just going to be a nice shimmery gold color. I really like that color. It's just nice soft um, gold. This is the e.l.f. Blending Brush, which is one of my new favorite brushes. Um, such a simple $3 brush, but it really does a good job. Now I'm using a Makeup Forever shadow. On the Sephora website, this color is called Sienna. Um, I'm going to list the specifics below so you know what the numbers are. But it's like M788, M766, something like that. And I'm applying that as my transition color just above the crease with that blending brush. Then I'm going to go into another Make It Forever shadow. Um, it's a darker color, um, kind of a dark purple um, brown. And I'm just putting that on the outer V. This look's going to be mostly about the deep lip that I'm going to be applying. So the eyes are kind of soft and um, still present, but soft. And I'm also going to be doing a cat liner. Um, so I'm going to use the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush and blend all that out. Just in circular motions. And then I'm going to be going into my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in the color Trooper, which is just a black liquid liner with a skinny tip. And I'm starting at the outer eye. I'm just kind of drag that in and make it really thin at the inner eye. And then I'm going to start doing the wing. So I go up from that lower lash line. Um, I'm going right from the water line, actually, of that lower lash line. And I draw out and make a triangle, and then I just fill that in. And then I drag all the way to connect it to the lid. Um, I have an entire tutorial on this, but if you want more details on it, I can tell you. 
um, just let me know in the comments. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in dark chocolate or dark brown. And I'm just filling in my brows. And then I'm going to use the spoolie on the end to brush my brows up and then everything towards the outer part. And that really helps blend it all together. And then I'm going to do the other eye, other brow. Um, and I feel like this gives a very natural look because that's just such a tiny, like a fine point on the pencil is what I meant to say. Tiny point, fine point. So next I'm going to be using um, the NYX Wonder Pencil. And this is in the shade Light. And I'm going to be lining my waterline on the lower lash line. And this just makes the whites of my eyes look a little bigger and it cancels out that redness in that lower line. And it'll be a nude color. Then I'm gonna go into the Tarte um, pencil eyeliner in the color chocolate and this is a little softer than black and I'm just going from that outer wing about halfway across on that lower lash line and then I'm going to um, go ahead and curl my eyelashes and um, I don't know where this lash curler came from I got it as a gift but just curling my lashes and then I'm gonna apply the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara I'm using a lot of Too Faced products in this tutorial I don't know if you noticed but I'm applying it on the top and the bottom lashes I like this mascara, but I do think I get some fallout with it, so it's not my favorite. Um, but I use the Too Faced Primer, the Too Faced Powder, the Too Faced uh, Mascara, and the next step is going to be a Too Faced lip product. This is the MAC um, Beat Lip Pencil. Just a deep red, and I'm doing an X from my Cupid's Bow with that lip liner, and that helps really define that Cupid's Bow. And I'm overdrawing my lips just slightly. So rather than penciling in right in within the line, I just penciled in just outside of my lip line. And this is going to give my lips a fuller look. And then I'm going to finish lining my lips, and then I'm going to turn the pencil on its side a little bit, and I'm going to fill in the lip line that I just created. And this is going to make the lip color that I'm about to apply last a little longer and give it something to stick to. And that way, if it fades, it'll fade into this lip color, uh, lip liner that's beneath it, rather than just fading completely off of my lips. So the lip color, not to keep you guys in suspense, is going to be um, the Too Faced Melted Kisses set. This is the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Lipstick in um, Melted Berry. And it's a really pretty deep burgundy, like with a little bit of berry, but I think it's more burgundy. And just applying that to my lips. It's got... A slight bit of shine when it first goes on, but then it dries very matte and very long-lasting. And this is just a dramatic lip look, so I think that the simple eye makeup with just a wing keeps it kind of edgy. And next I'm applying an Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray, and I'm just spraying that all over my face to set my makeup in place. And that completes the look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please comment below if you have any questions or comments. Um, let me know what else you guys would like to see next, and please also leave me any questions because I'm going to be doing a Q&A video soon. I'll talk to you guys later.